Greetings, everyone. Um, happy Wednesday to everyone able to join. Um, I'd like to welcome you all to the future of site security presented by Triax Technologies and EarthCam. Um, today, we will cover Triax's approach to site security, data capabilities of Spotter, and how our solution integrates with EarthCam's technology to give organizations the tools they need to create safer, more secure workplaces. Um, we will actually we will also speak directly with EarthCam and go into more depth as to their greater abilities and capabilities um, from camera security. And then you'll also hear from one of our clients as to how they're using our solutions and what features they find most useful in today's day and age. Um, so let me introduce to you today's panel. I have Jeremy Turkle, who is the SVP of Operations and Partnerships for Triax Technologies. I have Lisa Kelly, who is the Executive Director at EarthCam. And I have Maurice Serda, the Site Safety Manager at City Safety Compliance Corp. Um, for this webinar, um, we are we will have an interaction active session at the end of the webinar. So please put any questions, comments you have in the questions section, and we will answer them at the end. Um, so I'll leave it to Jeremy to take it away. Good afternoon. My name is Jeremy, and our company is called Triax. We work with organizations in a number of different industries, typically where you find workers in hard hats, and specifically with those organizations that have an appetite for increasing the use of innovative technology to drive success. In a changing environment, our clients tend to be experiencing challenges such as projects are taking too long and becoming too costly, they might have difficulty managing and creating accountability in a complex and potentially dangerous environment. As a result, they are unable to find or access the most tangible and actionable solutions to improve operational excellence. So we have created the Connected Worker Solution. We empower companies to access next generation operational excellence by connecting their workforce with smart controls. Today, we're going to focus specifically on the aspect of site safety and security and how technology can be used to assist and improve with managing a safe and secure site. When you think of site security, one of the most obvious examples might be a physical barrier, such as a gate with a turnstile. And the access control system that makes that turnstile smart is one of the things Triax provides through our spotter access solution. By arming a job site with a smart turnstile, you immediately automate the check-in and check-out process. You can ensure that only those that are properly certified are accessing the site such as ensuring your workforce is adhering to any COVID or vaccine protocols being implemented. Uh, currently one of the most prevalent conversations in today's environment. Today we'll talk about all of these topics in a little more detail. Now a physical barrier is not always feasible given site logistics. So we've also created what we call gateless access control which consists of a box with a reader, no different than the reader you would find on the turnstile, which can be mounted just about anywhere. By having employees scan either a wearable device, such as the spotter clip, or an RFID card at this reader, you can create the same functionality in terms of automating the check-in and check-out process and notifying the right people if someone arrives and does not have the proper certifications on file. So when it comes to site security, we are very aware there is no one size fits all solution. First, I'll touch upon that certification management in a bit more detail. In New York, in the New York City metro area, for example, you might be familiar with local law 196, where having someone on site 
without the proper trainings can result in very costly fines. And as I mentioned a few minutes ago, we are seeing more and more sites implementing various COVID protocols where a vaccine or recent negative test is required of anyone entering the site. By documenting these certifications that an individual accessing the job site holds, it then gives you the ability to manage your site access in several different ways. For instance, you can then program the turnstile not to unlock if someone is not properly certified. You can notify a supervisor in real time when an individual arrives at the site and is also not properly certified. You can also review reports in real time as to anyone that has a certification that might be expiring or in need of renewal in the upcoming days in order to be proactive. This allows for enhanced site security as to who is accessing the job site to ensure anyone entering has the right training needed. By using our access control system, you have access to a detailed data set, such as the transaction report you see in front of you right now. This report shows you who attempted to access the site, what time that occurred, where it occurred if you have multiple access points, and what prevented them from getting in in a situation where someone was denied. Reasons such as the expired cert, attempting to access the job site after hours or a contractor's insurance not being compliant. And in addition, because of the data we preload in the system specific to each person that will be accessing the job site, we have the ability to notify when we feel there is an elevated risk on site in order for action to be taken. Examples like fatigue risk, knowing how long people have been on site, tenure risk and ensuring there's a static workforce when needed, supervision risk, knowing in real time when your ratio of labor to supervision crosses a threshold you are not comfortable with. It all becomes much more manageable when you implement a solution like spotter access. We also have the ability when working with our partner EarthCam to provide a visual confirmation of these transactions, which I'll show in greater detail shortly. And because we are automating the check-in and check-out process, you have the ability to automate the headcount and hours reporting. Here you see a time card, which can be exported from the dashboard in real time, providing a detailed breakdown of any workers that have accessed the job site, when they access the job site, and how long they were there. This automation allows for less time being spent on manual entry and more time focused on the project at hand. In addition to access control, Triax is known for its spotter mesh network solution, which provides for job site visibility beyond the perimeter. The spotter mesh platform provides real-time data to assist with managing safety and security, helps with labor and workforce efficiency, and monitoring of all of your important assets on the job site. The mesh solution provides real-time location services which in the event of an emergency can lead to first responders providing aid quicker, in addition to eliminating lost time searching in areas during an emergency where no one is located. Here you see the project zones tab from the spotter mesh dashboard. You'll notice it is zone based, not GPS, for example. The purpose of the zone-based functionality is to get within audible or visual range of a worker in need quickly. We establish this functionality by utilizing a 900 megahertz radio frequency network. We chose to use this protocol for some very intentional reasons, especially when looking at the environments our clients operate in. 900 megahertz will travel through concrete, it will travel through steel. It consumes very little power relative to many of the other solutions out there. So devices being utilized on site can go multiple months between needing to be charged. 
the network is also fully independent of any other infrastructure on site. It does not rely on the need for internet or Wi-Fi connectivity. We utilize cellular modems and can operate with or without access to power using battery operated networking equipment and solar panels when needed. We also have the ability to drill down into any specific zone in real time for a more granular look. By utilizing this functionality, you can manage your work front exposure, which especially in a planned maintenance or turnaround setting can be very valuable. You can also use it to ensure people on site are not entering into areas they shouldn't, such as a hazardous environment or a confined space, which leads to our restricted area monitoring. This functionality is applicable in many different situations to run a more secure job site. Think about an active school or hospital under construction and needing to have real-time visibility into someone entering a restricted area or someone entering into a confined space without the proper permit or training and being able to notify a supervisor of this in real time. Our point of interest tag or POI allows for all of this by functioning as a beacon that detects anyone coming within a customized range of it. We like to think of this as digital caution tape and being able to prevent someone from accessing a restricted area for their own safety. Now, not all job sites look alike, but they all have a need for safety and security. In this example, we are working with an aviation company. So their job site is the interior of a plane as it's being built. And as you would imagine, there are specific areas within the plane that are more dangerous than others during construction. This company utilizes those POI tags to ensure anyone that should not be entering a confined space, such as the wing, is not doing so unless authorized. In addition, these tags can allow real-time visibility as to who is in an area that might require more granularity than the zone-based functionality provides. The same device can also be used as what we call an equip tag and can be placed on almost any piece of equipment on a job site. Another huge benefit of the Triax platforms is that we are equipment agnostic. And what I mean by that is these devices do not need to be hardwired or custom fit based on make and model. These same devices can be applied using magnets, for example, and the same device can be applied to a scissor lift, a forklift, an excavator, or anything in between. By adhering an equip tag to a piece of equipment, we can provide utilization data, such as when the machine was being operated, where it was being operated, and for how long. But in addition, we can also help detect when someone on site is operating something they should not be and alert a designated supervisor of this in real time to prevent a possible incident. Just like those certifications that are required to get through the turnstile from earlier, we can store and require specific certifications for operating equipment. And when an individual does not hold that certification, we can send out an alert just like the ones you see here where Peter Johnson is not certified to be on the forklift. By connecting all workers on the job site, we also have the ability to notify them in real time when there is a situation that requires an evacuation. From any internet enabled device, a laptop, a cell phone, a tablet, a user has the ability to trigger this evacuation. This can result in the wearable devices that everyone is utilizing emitting a visual and audible cue to head to the muster point. In addition to being able to monitor in real time who has arrived at muster versus who has not and where they are. Again, this allows first responders to target their operation very specifically and reduce the amount of time spent in areas where no attention is needed. In these images, you can see knowing what floors have people remaining on them in a vertical building, 
or what zone those in need of assistance are currently in. In addition to seeing the evac tag on the bottom left, which can be used to enhance the evacuation via wearables or as a standalone wireless evacuation system. Now, all of this functionality is available in the spotter access and mesh solutions. But when integrating these solutions with our partner EarthCam, we can deliver even more. A few minutes ago, I talked about being, have, being able to have a visual verification as part of the access control solution every time someone enters or leaves the job site. And this is what that looks like. If I can figure out how to press play, uh, Amanda, I may ask for a little assistance. This allows us to match a check-in or check-out in which we are recording the who, what, and where with actual footage of that individual. This allows a number of things, such as prevention of tailgating or empowering the claims investigation process uh, and do a lot more for which I'll let Lisa from EarthCamp speak to now. Uh, so all yours, Lisa. Awesome, thank you, Jeremy. So I find it so interesting. It seems like everybody would be trying to keep track of these things, uh, not just for the safety of their site, but obviously for the safety of the workers on the site. I'm at a conference right now and the words safety and security are thrown around a lot, but in talking to a lot of general contractors, it's not something that is necessarily budgeted in and certainly talking about technology in security and safety is something that doesn't seem to totally you know uh connect on a lot of job sites in the industry yet so i think as we're seeing um you know hopefully uh workers being taken care of and being cognizant of you know the costs of construction that this will become more standard so with earthcam we've been around 25 years uh i think i have control here let me make sure, there we go. Oops, of course. <laughs> Amazing. I can do a lot of things. Some basics like toast and running webinars are not it. Um, had our 25th year this year, super exciting. Um, been putting cameras on poles and rooftops for that amount of time. So we are a hardware company, Electriax as well. Uh, but it's really about the information, right? It's the visual information. This is a picture, you're looking at pictures and video of us right now. Uh, you can see that we're in four different settings. Um, you can see that Maurice is on the job. Uh, you know, you can see, you know, what we're wearing that might tell us, you know, something about who we are. So everything that we look at is visual information. So, you know, the excitement uh, with the partnership with Triax is that EarthCam does a lot of great things, but we're not documenting specific workers on site. You know, and I'm going to show you, you know, what our core competencies are, but we can augment and enhance companies like what Triax provides uh, already in a fantastic way to show that visual documentation, an extra, an extra layer of verification. So we provide hardware, the cameras. This is just a quick view of some of those. So we run from like a small a portable solar unit uh to the vr 360 on the ground um i'm sure a lot more people are becoming familiar with that marrying the images to the job site floor plan really heavy duty robotic cameras for long tall projects um our clients are everybody from general contractors on data warehouses retail build outs renovations hospitals universities sports teams on stadiums and the general contractors that build all of those so uh, we are global and uh, we have offices throughout the US and technicians to install those cameras everywhere. So it's a, you know, it's a hardware, it's a software and it's a service. The point being that you as the client should just be able to get on your phone or get on your tablet or your computer and get that visual information where you need it, verifying you know, what you're concerned about. Um, I'm gonna show you some of this stuff live. So I'll, I'll click through uh, these sections here. This shows, you know, some of the interesting things with the, the VR360. Um, pushing this stuff, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about the Procore integration today because 
you know, we've got EarthCam and then we've got EarthCam Triax and that's, you know, a solid solution. But once we put it into that project management software, you know, it's even stronger. So that's where we've really started to see a benefit to our clients is putting that information where you need it, right? With your observations, your weather reports, your safety violations. So we integrate with Procore, also BIM 360, Infotech on the infrastructure side. And now, you know, Plan Grid and, and Autodesk and the whole the whole thing is working together, but people are still familiar with the, with the name of that. Um, I'm gonna show you this and Jeremy spoke about it, but it really is about the visual information. It's obviously about looking at things like tailgating, um, but it's also uh, just about every single in and out report and we can do it by trade. So I'm gonna show you this live. Um, rather than going into it um, on a slide. But there's a lot of other things, you know, that camera on a pole or a roof that, that you know, other people, you know, put up or whatever. It's about the data. And again, with us, what we've done a lot is identifying things. So again, identifying, working with Triax, um, identifying project progress, identifying people getting too close together, um, identifying equipment. So there's a lot of AI analysis that goes into that. Our same camera that's doing all of that stuff. Uh, we've worked with Autodesk uh, and with Synchro, uh, which is now a Bentley company, to overlay those images and video that our high definition cameras are providing to look at the model versus the actual build. So we're in the iTwin arena when we're talking about looking at that digital model and looking at reality, which is provided by EarthCam. So. Um, I'm not going to go strong into that today, um, but there's a lot of different things that we're working on. Um, drones, heat maps, any kind of visual information, um, the security, you know, we talk about, you know, uh, having that recorded video, right? Motion detection alerts, night vision, all of that rolled into the same platform. Um, and then there's a whole marketing aspect. So. At the end of the day, uh, we want to get people into the buildings, whether it's patients and doctors uh, into hospitals, whether it's students into dormitories, fans into stadiums, uh, people working at the load, you know, grocery store that just opened, uh, or the community knowing that the new elementary school is being built. So there is a whole aspect of what we do that is involved around marketing and public relations, and we have a whole team dedicated to that as well. So got some great time-lapse movies. I really encourage you to go to YouTube and check that out. Um, we've got over 100 million views. Uh, it doesn't beat probably the cat playing piano, but for construction, it's really big. So uh, really amazing stuff. And we've been really lucky to work on a lot of cool projects. So um, Soup to Nuts, White Glove Service, we put it out there. And, uh, and I think now I'm going to jump into um, being able to actually show it to you, um, some, some live examples of that. So I'll grab the screen control and jump into the uh, EarthCam platform. There's a couple of things. I'm going to show you some things on the website. And then uh, we put together a video um, that kind of is going to condense everything that I have talked about and I'm going to talk about uh, that you'll have access to since you're getting a lot of information right now. Um, I do like to show just cameras in the wild again. Uh, the hardware does matter. You know, it's the easy part for us because we've been doing it for 25 years. But, you know, people don't necessarily know how that information is going to get to the platform that I'm going to show you. So, you know, solar battery backup, cellular modem, camera on the pole, um, you know, trailers, uh, non-penetrating roof mounts. You know, this is this is what we've been doing for so many years. Um, but what really matters is, is how it goes uh, into a partnership, like what we have with Trax. So I'm going to show you just a quick video here um, of that.
So obviously, see, look, a cat. That's nice. Um, so obviously, you know, one of the things that we're going to be able to do uh, is um, show you this stuff live. But, you know, Triax is doing all of this already. And what we're doing is we're providing the visual verification. And it does matter because we don't know if people are maybe going to be switching certain things or, you know, if you're going to have to go somewhere and show this evidence. So I'm in the EarthCam, uh, what we call Control Center 8 now. This is going to be one example of how it's used. Uh, so we're currently looking at, you know, this is taking pictures and, and I'm not going to use this as that example, but we've got security recordings, which is just constant recordings, right, within the EarthCam platform. Um, and it's going to load up all of this recorded video in multiple days um, that are going to be popping up here and I can go to all these different days. But what really matters rather than this would be like a traditional way of looking at video is that we can go in and we can grab via uh, our API specific clips. So I don't want to go back and think, I don't know, maybe something happened on one day. Was it on the weekend? Uh, I want to be able to just grab exactly what I'm looking for, right? So these are all just small clips of something that's happening on this specific day. So if I'm thinking it may have happened around this, I'm spending 25 seconds of my time double checking that Michael, who's working on concrete, is exiting at that time. And that's exactly what just happened. So I can go back and I can take a look at every single one of these uh, and I can look at these specific um, clips. And then I can share these if I want to, if there's a, a type of clip that I want to send. So that's one way that it's working. And this is you know, an interior um, type of solution. So same type of thing we get here and we're taking a look at various clips. And again, I want to be able to look at something that happened, I think around a pretty specific time. So I want to see what's happening on this time. And again, we store this through the length of your project and you'll have access to these all given to you at the end of the project so that I can go back and look months previous to double check because that's usually when something happens. When somebody thinks it's far enough along that they can say that uh, they were or weren't at the job site that day. So it literally grabbed it just because it was happening during that time period. And every single one of those entrants and exits are here. And you've got the very different, um, you've got the types of uh, company that they are. Um, and this information is pulled from Triax, right? So they're all entered into Triax as Jose, who's working from Brickworks. Um, and we're grabbing the video for that. Now this same camera is documenting your construction. So this is also taking a look at, and they were working on the facade here, but I can actually go back and I can look at different days and times uh, of what's happening on the construction project. So this is a totally different day and this is standard earth cam stuff here. And I can go back and I can also grab uh, a different period of time. Um, oh, let's go back a little bit here to March and see if there's a difference. So I've got right up in this section here, right? Like this is the camera that's always capturing stuff. So it's got your security clips that it's grabbing. And in addition to that, I've got some project progress things that are happening here. This is what we call our X-ray tool. Um, it's lined right up there. So it's taking images every few minutes and you're gonna have access to all of that. And I'm gonna show you because it's such a great integration that we actually launched at a uh, groundbreak, but I'm gonna use this as kind of a, a way to pop over into Procore. So um, take a look at, there's a lot of brown, a lot of gray on this side, a lot of dirt, a lot of brick, a lot of concrete. Uh, I can time and date stamp it. The weather, you know, I'm hearing all the time now that it's so important to have the weather information. So uh, we want to be able to go through and I, I might want to mark up something um, and I might want to talk about that little bit of a difference that was happening uh, at that point on this part of the construction project. So that's not what I wanted to do, but I can go backwards um, and have this conversation and I can literally, we, we have an integration in, in Triax does as well. Um, so we're able to push everything into this platform and this is just one example of a project management software, but it's about, you know, the concept that you always thought a camera was just taking pictures and a camera was a camera, but it's not. It's about, you know, where we're sending that information. 
it's about a concept that, you know, a turnstile is just a turnstile, but it's not, you know, there's more information that it can give you. So if I want to uh, send this information, I just spoke to Procore here and I can literally upload this and I can send this right in and I can create a draft RFI. I can create something actionable that's now going to have a time and a date and somebody's going to go have to fill it out uh, to be able to close that out. So our camera's up there constantly taking pictures, but you can actually go in and create something that somebody needs to do something about. So I could be talking about this specific spot and now I can go in and I can change the date and edit it. Um, and there's a lot of different ways that we plug in. But what's really cool with the, specifically to the Procore um, and Triax and EarthCam partnership is that we're able to go in and push these clips now. So uh, Jeremy showed you the video, I showed you the clips and they were in EarthCam, you know, but, and that's great. You might just be using it in our software. You might be pulling reports within uh, Triax's software, but maybe your team does have, you know, a central meeting place like this where you're putting in everything from your daily construction reports to inspections. So for us, we also wanna make it as valuable in the best places possible for our clients. And we also integrate it here. So we're pushing, we're literally pulling Triax information with the EarthCam video clip and putting it into uh, the daily construction reports. Um, so I've got a couple different ones, yeah, here. So I've got a couple ones here, right? Which is great. So I've got, you know, a similar type of thing where I've got a video and now it's in the place where maybe the subs and the trades, um, all of the different groups, maybe the owner plus the general contractor are going to go and look and it's listed under, you know, their report. So we grab this video clip. It's where you need it. Um, you can save it and share it and We've got all the visual evidence that we need of that specific thing. If we needed to, we can trade change, you know, the trade. Um, you can pick specific days. And there's a lot of different reports that we're doing. And this is just, you know, these are just examples. Um, but it's good to know that you put up an earth cam and you partner with Triax and we're constantly updating the software, right? Like it's a it's a technology solution that we really want to update. Um you know, safety violations, same thing. You know, we talked about tailgating. Uh, with our AI and our visual information, we can identify who these people are based on triacs, but we can identify how far apart they're standing and uh, have the actual video or picture of it based on what EarthCam provides. Um, similar stuff with like vehicle tracking um, and, uh, you know, heat maps of, you know, really busy areas on the construction site. So, uh, it just goes on and on and on. I'm excited about all the technology. It's been great to be out in the field and talk to people and hear what the concerns are um, because we want to hear from you so that we're building things that are, are going to be the most beneficial uh, to everybody being successful. So um, we have a ton of, you know, uh, constantly building out new types of technology and uh, I look forward to, to being able to work with everybody who's on this call. And the partnership is great. You know, like I said, we bring the visual information and the content. It's reliable and high definition. Um, and we really need, you know, the technology that Triax has to identify the people, you know, to set up the mesh network, to be uh, working with the specific employees. And again, the safety and concern and securing those job sites. So I think I'll hand it back to Amanda now and we'll hear from uh, some questions um, that I think she's gonna talk with Maurice. Okay. Um, so I wanted to take this opportunity to just bring, bring a client into the situation and just to get the perspective from what does a, what does a site safety manager care about most. So Maurice Serta is with City Safety and Compliance Corp. Um, so I wanted to take some time to answer, ask you some questions. Um, so firstly, how long have you been a safety manager? I've been a safety manager for eight years, uh, but I've been in the industry for 16 years. Awesome. And then why is perimeter security so important on an active construction site? What we find is uh, both uh, uh, it's simplicity of security, having security there, 
not only keep uh, people out, uh, pedestrians from walking into the job site, uh, hazard situations, also to monitor uh, equipment that's being used on the job site. We keep it within a, a perimeter. So basically that's what we look for in the security system. Awesome. Um, and how have you seen site security change over the past few years, especially with the onset of COVID? Uh, yes, we have uh, COVID, COVID compliancy, uh, regulatory compliancy, uh, where we use it to uh, do monitoring, temperature monitoring at the gate. And uh, once you monitor the temperature, you're allowed into the job site. And also, uh, Local Law 196 that Jeremy uh, mentioned to, uh, earlier, but we have a lot of compliance regulations that have to be uh, put into the program, um, one being training. You have to be trained, a certain amount of training you have to have to be on a construction site. Uh, with the spot R, we can monitor that. Not only that, if we have a, a regulatory agency come in to do an inspection, we can print out reports and have them available uh, for their uh, inspection, which helps out tremendous, uh, tremendously for us on the job site. Awesome. So you, you started touching on it a little bit um, with reporting and being able to, to see certification management. Um, so you currently use Spotter on the job site that you manage. Um, is there anything beyond those two components that you have found most beneficial in using a, a technology solution? for safety? Well, it's, we use it a lot of different ways. We can do the hours on job sites. Uh, if we have overtime, uh, at the end of the day, I'm the last one out of the building. I'm supposed to be the last one out. I can do a verification uh, of the people on the job site who's still working, what floors. Uh, mm -hmm. My building I'm on right now is 59 floors. So for me to walk the entire uh, building at the end of the night to verify who's still on, uh, it's, it's, it's a big task, but if I uh, jump on my cell phone uh, and see what floors are active or who's on the floor, I can go directly to those floors, check who's still working, and verify that they're still working. And then uh, at the end of the night, when everybody leaves, I can actually see them leaving the building via computer or the cell phone. Besides awesome. reporting, the reports we use often. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So after this is more hypothetical now, um, after seeing how Triax integrates with EarthCam, um, do you see there being a great value in, in this new functionality and the way that you manage the site and, and why? Uh, absolutely. Uh, there are a lot of different reasons why. Uh, I would take one where we had an incident uh, insurance wise injuries on the job site. Uh, where we had an injury that happened off-site, and uh, then we had them walk back in on into the job site, um, monitoring uh, the hours that we're in with a video uh, documentation. It's tremendous. Uh, it's a big help. Also, to investigate any incidents that we have, having a video that we can go back and look at or document that helps out in the investigation or root cause of the injuries or root cause of any near miss. So it's beneficial on both ends, uh, uh, both monitoring compliance and uh, investigation insurance and monitoring the work that's going on on the job site. Awesome. Um, that's actually, that's it for questions that I have for you, Maurice. Um, but I will open it up to the floor if there is if there's any additional questions. Um, and so I have I have a few so far that we can cover. Um, what first question is I see use case in large job sites where there are many people on site and lots of expensive equipment to equipment to protect. How could this benefit smaller projects? I will Would you like either, to either Jeremy or Lisa? <laughs> yeah, no, Maurice. I like how Maurice said he was going to, so I'm going to let Maurice talk. <laughs> okay. First. Yes, agreed. Well, it's it's. Uh, I, I'm in the field, so uh, 58 floors, large footprint is is you can't be everywhere on a large job site, especially a small job site also. So having this technology, uh, one incident, one injury, uh, the cost of uh, insurance now. 
are going uh, skyrocketing. So it's beneficial to have it even on small job sites, uh, reporting, uh, having reports available. Um, uh, simple as uh, when we're doing it uh, overtime, how many hours is actually being worked on overtime and not being worked on overtime, that could be monitored. So there's a lot of benefits to having a spot R and earth cam, um, well, even on a small project. Now, it doesn't work just on a big project. I can see it working on a small project. Awesome. Yeah, that's, um, that's great to hear because for us, um, not that we haven't touted, you know, the World Trade Center and the Panama Canal in the Raiders Stadium, uh, but the majority of projects are not that. And the majority of projects that are putting people to work still need to have the same safety uh, and the same documentation. And technology's changed, right? So when it first came out, you know, this wasn't necessarily something that was uh, available to everybody. You know, it was, you know, a Turner construction um, and, you know, really large developers. But now we're seeing it on so many different projects. This data centers, you know, edge data centers are much smaller than some of these massive structures and the projects move pretty quick. And that almost means that they need more regulation because within a three week time period, um, they can just, a lot of things can happen and nobody goes back and checks. Um, whereas on a longer project, you've you know maybe got some of the same people that are there and there's some sort of accountability built up over time. So, um, you know, I know all this stuff can go month to month and, and be rentable. Um, but at the end of the day, if you don't have documentation, you know, you have nothing to go back to regardless of the length of the project. So we're doing everything, you know, um, you know, from retail, like I said, um, to just, you know, even some, some quick repaving projects that they want to make sure that they have documentation of and that the workers, um, and those are a little bit tough too, right? Cause they might be in moving areas and hard to secure. And exactly like you said, somebody walks off a site and something happens and they use that. And we have people in the community too that will say a car accident happened because of the construction uh, and you're able to go in and say, well, I mean, it was near there, but it had nothing to do with the construction um, or somebody crossing the street, um, for instance. Awesome. Um, Jeremy, anything from you or we can go to the next question? Yeah, I, I think uh, Maurice and Lisa hit the nail on the head. Uh, uh, all the right reasons. Uh, let's go on to the next question. Awesome. Um, so question two, do I have to buy the equipment or can I rent it? Sure. So uh, at Triax, we, we are very cognizant that, again, there, there's no one size fits all. So uh, depending on the specific project, the duration, the number of devices needed, uh, we're very flexible. We have uh, various channels for renting equipment uh, or purchasing it. Um, so all options are on the table. Uh, and we, we work very hard to make sure we're coming up with a program that works for that specific client on that specific job. Uh, and, and it's not, again, a one size fits all approach. Yeah, we're the same. There's so many different cost centers, you know, a uh, government project, um, a PPP, like, you know, design build, they're all going to come in uh, with different requirements and um, saddling somebody with a piece of equipment uh, when we're going to be creating something new is not necessarily the most beneficial to the client. We'd rather get them using it when they need to use it um, and then working with them in the future when they might need it again than having more stuff out there. And it frankly reduces waste as well. If we're thinking of, you know, what ends up in closets and leftover things on job sites, I mean, just environmentally, it doesn't make sense uh, to be having a lot of hardware out there. And even though a lot, so some Triax pieces are small and some EarthCam pieces can be small. I mean, that's the thing that adds up. So we rent it uh, more often than not. Awesome. Um, and then the last question that I have for today so far is, um, do you need Procore for the access control solution to work? No, you, you do not need Procore. Th there's definitely that additional added value of uh, storing all the information in one place, such as a project management platform, uh, but you can also utilize it standalone. 
So again, whatever works for a specific client on a specific project, like Lisa said, there's so many different types of projects out there uh, and some things are more appropriate than others given uh, those situations. Uh, so we really spend a lot of time on the pre-deployment process, scoping a project out, what makes the most sense, what's going to provide the most value and, and what works in this specific situation. Uh, sometimes it's all technologies integrated together that is really what's needed to address certain risks or situations, or sometimes it's, it's one and on the next project it's the other. Uh, so we work to package up the right solution based on the project at hand. Yeah, same. I mean, it's an example of what we're able to do with technology now to integrate and have partnerships with companies that have built out APIs. Um, you know, the technology struggle that's not necessarily, you know, construction related is where does the data sit, right? Where do we let people access it? Is it less beneficial for us to have people go to Triax and get the EarthCam clips? It really doesn't matter to us. You know, we're we're the pipe, we're, we're creating it, right? Like we've created the hardware and we're keeping it running so that you get the visual information and we've created the software so that you can do something with it. If it's more beneficial for you to be, have those clips and downloadable and reports in Triax, you know, we're still in the picture. I see what I did there. That wasn't even planned. Uh, <laughs> So sorry to everybody else on the call, uh, but yeah, you know, the, the partnership is is good and there will be more companies <clears throat> that we that we want to partner with as well uh, to be able to put that information where it matters. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, that that seems to be it for questions. Um, is there any any other comments from anyone, any of our panelists today before we wrap up? I always want to thank the person in the field. So I want to thank Maurice. I know that, you know, this is, uh, you know, um, you know, not necessarily in the job description, but we only get better when we're able to work with and communicate with people like you. So I really appreciate your time. And then obviously, you know, we've helped and um, grown the partnership with Triax. So appreciate the opportunity to be on here. Very much so agreed. Maurice, thank you. Uh, you know, appreciate, uh, like Lisa said, the feedback we get uh, and what we can do uh, through your feedback to continue innovating uh, and through partners like EarthCam uh, to continue adding additional value uh, by integrating technologies together. Uh, two is greater than one. Thank you both. Uh, just uh, on one comment that my job. Uh, you guys make my job easier, paper-wise, uh, documentation. It's one less thing I have to do. Uh, I do a lot of walking during the day and uh, having the access on my phone and on a computer at the end of the day uh, and walking through the building, it makes it a lot easier for me. So I thank you both. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you all for taking the time to join and be part of this panel. Um, thank you everyone who has been able to to attend as well. We really appreciate it. Um, always thank you for any feedback you all can provide um, to make us both better companies, better workers, better, better solutions for everyone. Um, so thank you. I'll give you back a few minutes of your of your day and have a great rest of your week. Bye guys. <laughs>